everyone and welcome to episode 14 of Grammar. Today we're looking at different parts of speech, nouns, adjectives, verbs and adverbs. Now let's see what they all are. Now first of all, a noun is something which has a name to it. So it could be a person or an animal, it could be a place, it could be a thing or an object, it could even be an idea or an emotion or an activity. And usually we can touch a noun, usually, but not always, as you can see. Okay, so think of it in that way. Mostly in a sentence, you would have something you could touch or something that appeals to your five senses. Now, let's look at some examples of nouns. Now, here you will see different examples of a person, animal, place, thing or object, idea, emotion or activity. Pause the video and have a look at these examples. And let's move on. Now, if you want to remember the five different types of nouns, you have to rewatch Grammar Episode 5 because I won't talk about them here again. Compound nouns, proper nouns, common nouns, etc. Okay, so if you want to remember that, rewatch this video. Now let's move on. An adjective gives you more information about the noun. And adjectives usually come before the noun. Let's look at some examples. Now, they could be numbers, colors, the appearance or condition of something, the time or the age of something, a specific sound, a feeling, a size, a shape. So they just give you more information about the noun. So beautiful. For example, what's your noun? Girl. A beautiful girl. Beautiful is your adjective. Five sweets. Five is your adjective. Sweets are a noun. So it just gives you much more information about the noun if you want to use an adjective. Now, let's move on. Verbs are actions, doing words. And remember, verbs can have different grammar tenses. So you have to select in a sentence the entire verb. Let's have a look at what I mean. So here you will see all the different grammar tenses you have done so far this year. Present simple, present continuous, past simple, and be careful with irregular verbs. Past continuous, present perfect, simple, and the future. So you'll look in red at the entire verb, and if you have to select it, in a sentence, you have to underline all of the verb. So, for example, with the future, you have to underline will play, not just the verb play. Okay, you have to underline will play. With present continuous, you have to underline is playing or are playing, not just the word playing, because it comes all together with the grammar tense. Now, let's move on. An adverb gives you more information about the verb. It tells you how you do a verb, and those adverbs usually end in L-Y. Quickly, slowly, steadily, okay? Where the verb happened? In my garden, under the tree, through the woods. When it happened? Yesterday, tomorrow, next week. How often it happens? So, always, never, sometimes, often. Or how much? Like very, almost. Now let's look at some examples of adverbs. Here you see how I do it, where I do it, when I do it, how often I do it, or how much I do it. Now let's practice all of them together. Now here I have a test sentence. The healthy boy ran steadily through three tall green trees yesterday afternoon. Now, I want you to take a minute and think which words are nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. So pause the video while you think, okay? Pause the video. I'll give you a moment. Let's check together. In red, you'll see the nouns. Boy, trees. These are nouns. You can touch boys, you can touch trees. Let's look at the other ones. 
In red, you'll see the adjectives. Healthy boy. So healthy is your adjective. Three is a number adjective. Tall and green. Because they describe the trees. Let's look at another one. Verbs. Just the word ran. It's the only action. So it's the only verb. And that verb is in the past. Now let's look at the adverbs. Now we have three sets of adverbs. Steadily, because it tells you how I ran. Through tells you where I ran. And yesterday afternoon tells you when I ran. So steadily, through, yesterday afternoon. These are your adverbs. I hope you got them correct. Well, practice all of these things and good luck.